Hello and welcome to Skin Biology with Dr. Hefsi Tago. In this episode, we are going skin deep to understand why you may be suffering from dry skin conditions. Stay tuned. dry skin. To understand why you may be getting dry skin, it's important to fundamentally understand that dry skin conditions itself is usually a secondary effect of a primary condition. It could be seasonal, it could be with your diet, it could be medical, it could be um, the environment, it could be certain triggers that's causing the secondary reaction you may be experiencing in the form of dry skin. Let's go skin deep and understand what's going on underneath those layers. Usually when we talk about skin, we are referring to the outer layer that we all see. The skin itself has three main layers. You have the outer layer that we see, which is your epidermis. Underneath that is the dermis, which contains your blood vessels, your sweat glands, your nerve cells, and some immune cells. And underneath that is your fatty layer, which helps with shock absorption and also regulating your temperature. A lot of the moisture retention ability of your skin lies in the epidermis. This structure is also multi-layered. The epidermis has the ability to produce new skin cells every few days. And so what you have is this continuous cycle of old skin cells being shed off the surface of the skin and the new skin cells that are being produced come back and form your top layer. To understand how skin retains its moisture, Think of the structure of bricks and mortar used in buildings. You have the orderly layered bricks, you have the layers on top and you put more bricks. When you have cracks in that brick, the mortar is going to seep out and so then the structure itself is not compromised and it's going to keep losing water. Think of your skin layer in that sense. In the same way, that topmost layer of your epidermis has your dead skin cells in between um, layers of your dead skin cells, you have your lipids. The sandwich layer of dead skin cells with the lipids in between is what helps skin retain its moisture. So usually when you're washing, when you're exfoliating, you're rinsing away some of these dead skin cells. What happens when these cells have been washed away is that not only are you getting rid of the dead skin cells, but you're also getting rid of the fats that is embedded within these skin cells. The ability to retain moisture in your skin varies between different individuals. In a moment, we're going to take a look at some simple remedies that you can apply to help alleviate your dry skin condition. Stay tuned. Welcome back. How can we retain the moisture in our skin? So, three simple things that you can do. One, a dry environment means more water being evaporated from the skin. So, you can use a humidifier to keep your air moist. Two, every time you're having a bath or a shower, you lose your washing away your dead skin cells. Every time you're losing dead skin cells, you're also losing the lipids and also losing some moisture. You must always, always, always rehydrate your skin by applying ointments or creams. Ointments and creams are better than lotions. And lastly, you must use mild cleansers. Skin is gentle, treat it with care. If you found this useful, don't forget to subscribe leave a comment below. If you have any questions you want to keep private, you can send me a direct message across any of my social media handles or directly on my website. 
Join me next Thursday for our next episode of Skin Biology with Dr. Hefty Taven.